coming on to do a reading for the collective. It is just going to be a general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation if it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you. Okay, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? Okay, spirit, what is the energy around this reading, please? The energy around this reading, please, spirit. Okay, so we have Renewal, Magic, and Transcendence. Um, hold on, let me see. Okay. Um, there could have been something that you went through when it came to transcending different obstacles that came towards you. Maybe this was like an upheaval in your life. I feel like there was some sort of um, transition you went through that was hectic. And um, it may have brought in a sense of like, um, even like a sense of renewed hope. But I feel like when you were going through whatever this transition was, or if you're still going through it, you could see like a bright, like a bright light at the end of the tunnel or some sort of hope that is being brought in but I feel like there is this like um hectic energy with with whatever's happening maybe you're having to do things quickly or act um more quickly than you than you normally do um and so um this could be like a restart or a new phase or something that is just beginning over if this is something that you're already doing there's just like this new start or new energy coming in around it um so you could be letting go of old patterns or old things that you used to do to bring in some sort of um some sort of fresh energy maybe there was um like a stale type of like monotony that you were stuck in and <clears throat> it took like shaking up your situation hold on <clears throat> like shaking up your situation or causing like destruction or chaos to be brought into a new type of renewed hope or like a like sense of wonder or even like a sense of um seeing things in a different perspective like maybe you saw things as being kind of gray and dull and because of whatever chaos or whatever um whatever happened where there was some sort of um some sort of uh like uh, i think kali the goddess of destruction and renewal um it could have been like that type of energy that causes destruction to bring in like a renewed type of beginning or some sort of new start um like endings to bring in new starts so there could be this like sense of wonder or magic in this new beginning because of some sort of destruction or chaos that happened and you could be creating um could be creating something new out of something old but it may seem like a fresh energy because of letting go of different ways of doing things that you were stuck to or like letting go of old patterns or old um behaviors that you had once um been in like a monotony around and going into more of a new way of looking at things okay so i feel like that's the energy around the reading okay Mm 
Hmm. No. Okay. Okay, um, hold on. <coughs> okay. Um, so, so, um, hold on. You might have been, or you might be, um, experiencing, like, lower energy or having, like, difficulty pulling yourself out of some sort of inner conflict or conflict that you may be experiencing. Um, it could be around work or, like, different things that you're having to take care of. Like, maybe, um, maybe you look at everything you have to do and it's overwhelming or it causes conflict. You could have, um... You could have like difficult. What was that? You could have maybe um, like chaos in a situation around a home. Like maybe like you have a lot of children that are really rambunctious or like are really hyperactive, um, and you may um, lose like. There may be, like, a difficulty trying to regain energy to go into the world to focus on, like, planning for work or planning for things that you have to do as far as, uh, like, everyday priorities when it comes to, when it comes to focusing on, um, like, a career or what you have to bring in towards a family, uh, dynamic. But I feel like maybe there is this transition that you're going through... Um, that's leading you into a calmer time. You could be going through your children maybe getting older or you're leaving behind um, maybe a, a home that was too small or releasing things in a family situation that were causing conflict. But I feel like there's this new beginning that's bringing you into a calmer time. This could have taken a lot of strength or pulling from a lot of your resources or a lot of your inner strength to um, find the ability to maybe be able to move into a place of more peace um <laughs> so that you could find um i'm sorry i'm gonna cough again <coughs> so you can find the ability to release any type of discomfort that may have been happening in your situation so i do feel like there was something um I feel like there was something that happened that came in quickly and maybe jolted you into quick action or maybe jolted you into moving quicker than you normally would have than than you norm maybe you were taking your time around a transition that you were thinking about making or you were like had it in your mind like should I do this or should I not do this and it was like putting it off to the side but there could have been some like forceful action that came in that caused some sort of destruction that made you come out of um this monotony or this like um uh, this slow moving behavior to move you out of some sort of chaos that was going on in your life to come into a calmer time so I feel like you could have been dealing with trying to restore uh more peace or um, come into more peace, but having the lack of will power to do it. So there could have been an outside type of nudge or something that came in from outside of you that was like, um, you may have viewed as aggressive or you may have viewed as, um, even <laughs> could have been like toxic, but it may have helped you move into the idea of moving into a transition that is going to bring you into more of a place of peace out of whatever chaos that you could um that you could be experiencing if this i do get like maybe um you have like a like a child or maybe more than one child um just a lot of hyperactive behavior like like um not it's not bullying it's um <laughs> what is that called wrestling like wrestling with each other um 
So there may be that and you may just be looking for like a solution for some sort of like hyper active type of um, like to bring some sort of calmness into a situation. Okay, so um, I'm going to clarify. Yeah, I pulled the tower, so there could have been um, an ending. There might have been a really difficult ending. Um, it could have been something where you had to make a really logical decision, and, and it may have put you through a lot of regret. Maybe you are feeling a lot of regret about a decision that you had to make. Maybe you felt like there was a lot of betrayal, or maybe there was something that ended or um, a cycle that was like complete or that had completed where there was feeling like you maybe could have um, made a decision to um, come out of a, something that was not in your best interest or maybe it was not in the best interest of you and uh, some and could have possibly been like the um, situation that you walked away from it may have not been it may have not been in the best interest of whatever the situation was um so that could have been where this aggressive i feel like um fast acting type of energy came in but um i also feel like that, that is what could have brought in an opportunity to move you into a calmer time um and there is, uh, some sort of, developing, developing, um, some sort of skill around, maybe, I'm trying to see. Maybe um, something that you want to accomplish when it comes to your own um, your own ambitions in in that you want to connect to when it comes to the world. I feel like this could be something that I feel like this could be something that you want to succeed in that you're trying to go at quickly. Um, but you may feel like you ha are on the wrong path right now. You may feel like you're not connected or you have confusion about the path that you're on when it comes to um, having like the uh, the connection you have within yourself. You, you may feel like you're very um, like analytical or you could be in conflict around being stuck in your head a lot or being stuck in your head when it comes to processing emotions or being not very, um, in, maybe you're somebody that's not very in tune to your emotions and this is like something that asks you to be more developed when it comes to being able to look at progress around emotion, around like, um, around emotional, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, like awareness around emotional, um, like emotional regulation or 
just some sort of skill set when it comes to managing emotions. This could be like therapy or this could be like energy work or this could be like even like tarot or um, something when it comes to de developing a skill when it comes to managing emotions. I feel like you could be somebody that is really... Um, like uh you could just be really logic based and um there could even be this need to like control or dominate situations that leaves you feeling like remorse or regret um, that you're trying to move on from. So this may not even be a skill that you're trying to offer to other people. It may just be something you're trying to manage in your own life so that you are able to not act aggressively yourself and come out of a place where you go through difficult endings or you experience difficult endings or conflict. Um, so you may be trying to um, develop some sort of skill around that when it comes to, uh, your own world to move into a calmer time or transition.